All right, Shalom. This is a hard one by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kal Halayim, La Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakah Kodash, and my mouth. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and I go out there, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Hey, man, check this out. As you probably can see on the screen, um, an image of the Lord's face appeared in the clouds. All right. I believe it looked like the most high. You know, Yahweh Shah looks just like the most high. But um yeah, you can see the white you can see, you can see the white and woolly hair. You can see the definition of uh lips and a beard and a mustache and a forehead. Man, you even see his eyes. All right. And now there was a um there was a sister that saw she sees a lot of chariots, but she saw faces of, a, of an angel in the cloud. You know, and the face looked like um, Joe Frazier or somebody. You know, a Jake, an angel. But that's what they look like. They look like us, all right, and we look like them. So I'm going to read this article from uh, November 25th, 2021. So it was just the other day, all right. And it happened in Australia. Uh, it's on uh, the Daily Mail News, so I'm going to get into it. And I'll put the uh, article in the description box. It says, Shocked Aussie pho photographer captures a man's face in a giant cloud above her backyard. A giant cloud above her backyard. A woman gazes up, gazing up into the stormy sky above her backyard was shocked to see the shape of a man's face hidden in the clouds. Wow, deep, right? Um, it says, Shakira Hobbs managed to photograph the, uh, Sh Shakira, it's like a Jake, managed to photograph the incredible sight outside her home. And Bo Regal, whatever, uh, jeez, these names is crazy. And Bo Ragul, <laughs> I don't know that name, man. B O O R A G U L, she's Bo Ragul and NSW's Lake Macquarie region in sun on Sunday night. And, you know, I think they had a little. Thanks, killing holiday. I can't remember exactly what day it was, but um, not important. But we in that time, then the Lord watching. He watching all of them celebrate these pagan holidays. And right, the Lord is, is watching. That's what I get from this. The Most High is watching, and, he, and He's setting up His throne in the heavens for judgment. All right, the, the great white throne judgment. So, continue on this article. It says, the, ex the extraordinary shot shows a cloud looking remarkably similar to the profile of a man with his forehead, his eyes, his eyelids, nose, and chin all outlined among the gray shapes. All right, you can clearly see, man, the it looked like a, a, a Jake, so-called Negro, with white and woolly hair. All right, and it could be an image of Yahweh Shai, or it could be a depiction of Yahweh. You know, it says, "Um, speaking to Daily Mail Australia, Miss <clears throat> Hobbs, who is a photographer, said the phenomenon lasted for about forty-five seconds." Wow. I thought it was incredible, but I but had to get my partner to look as well because I thought I may have also been seeing things. She laughed. All right. So she laughed, man. The, the Lord put that spirit on it, you know. Um, far beyond what they're looking for. See, they're not looking for this. They're looking for an Edomite. All right, they're looking for an Edomite to show up. It says, 
she said she's been she said she'd been setting up her professional camera to take some shots of the lightning when she noticed the unusual cloud formation. Wow, man. All right, and we know that is a scripture on that. All right, this is Job 22 and 14. Thick thick clouds are his covering are a covering to him, man. So if the Lord don't want you to see him, he'll block he'll block the heavens with the clouds, or he'll block a chariot with Hide it in the clouds. All right. So the, the Lord uses the clouds as a covering. All right. And if that was the most high, no man has ever seen the most high. So to see a cloud in his face, that's probably the best we're going to get right now. But, you know, or that could have been an image of Yahweh Shai in that cloud. You know what I mean? But the energy I'm getting from it looked like the most high, man. But it definitely could have been Yahweh Shai. But either way, it's a, it's a depiction of, of one of them, all right? Job 22 and 14. Thick clouds are a covering to him that he seeth not, and he walketh in the circuit of heaven, all right? So let's get that real quick, all right? So this, the circuit of heaven, what's that? That's the, um, the firmament, all right? Um, <clears throat> Ezekiel 1 and 22. And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne as the appearance of sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. See, they see it there. They're like, you look like a man. Just like she saw that big giant cloud. Another sign in the heavens that the Lord is visiting this place. And you see, it, um, it looks like a man. But they'll never say a so-called black man. They know it looks like a so-called Negro. You know, they know Edomite or no China man. You know, that looks like a howl. So, it said, uh, even Ezekiel saw this uh, same type of um, man sitting upon the circuit of heaven, which would be the firmament. And looking down from a throne. All right, but this woman saw a face in a giant cloud. You know, a lot of people been seeing that lately. A lot of people seeing chariots popping up. This is a uh, second Ezra thirteen, and um, I start from twenty nine. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, see? And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. So the Most High is visiting this place too. But he's going to send Yahweh Shai to, to take it and, and to deliver the children of Israel. But the Most High is visiting this place, looking at the world which he made. All right. So he's going to come to the astonishment of everybody. Everybody's going to be astonished, just like that lady was. All right, because I was like, you know what times we're in. Um, second Ezra's nine. And uh, I'll start from, wow, three. And I'll start from one. And he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. See, we're measuring the time in this age that we're in according to the prophecies. And when thou seest part of the signs past the prophecies, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the Most High will begin to visit the world which he made. So he's visiting this place, man. He's judging it. He said the fire is off, sent out. All right, so the Lord, Yahweh, is judging this place. He's going to send Yahweh Shai in his place. He's going to send Yahweh Shai in in Yahweh Shai's glory and in the glory of the Father. You know? That's like saying, get, hey, go down there and, and take them out. Here, take this with you. This is my sword. Take that with you. You know? So he's gonna he's gonna empower Yahweh Shai, man. Glorify him even more to come destroy this place. Alright, um, so we understand that it is the very same time 
wherein the wherein the Lord is visiting uh, this world that He made. Right? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the beginning that were before thee, from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as everything that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times of the highest, the Most High, have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings and signs and effects and signs. Man, this is a special effect. You watch a movie that got special effects in it, graphics. Well, the Lord is saying, yo, this, the end is going to be manifest that way. It's going to look like special effects in the sky. You know? All right, let's get back to this article. It says, I thought it was incredible, right? But had to get my partner to look as well because I thought I may have also been seeing things. She laughed. She said she'd been setting up her professional camera to take some shots of the lightning when she noticed the unusual cloud formation. See, it's going to be unusual to him. You know, when she see the real uh, angelic clouds forming, formation, it happened so quick I had no time to move around. So I quickly grabbed my phone instead. She said, it is honestly scary how good the detail is. She says she was scared. This is a real detail, man. The cloud has no the so like the cloud has so many features of a real man. Mm-mm. Miss -mm. Hobbs immediately sent the photo to her mother and afterwards inspected the shot with her partner. The incredible image has since done the rounds on social media. So it's been passed around everywhere. 181 shares. All right. So yeah, she was she was astonished. <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon five and one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of his labors. That's why we go out and teach every week. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Right? So it's gonna be like seeing apparitions or seeing ghosts when they see the angels. You know, they see uh, Yahweh Shai. I, you know, and shall be amazed. So like it, when they see it, they, sh they shall be troubled with terrible fear, man. The Lord calls himself the king of terrors. He's going to still fear in them. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. All right. So they're not looking for a so-called black man to come from the heavens. They're looking for Esau. They're looking for some other weird paganism type of uh, imagination. This is Psalms 11 and 4. Yahweh is in his holy temple. So There's a temple out there. They say he lay of his beams in the waters. So if you look out in the heavens, it's nothing but Shemayim out there, the waters, right? Shemayim. You know, hydrogen and, and other, other elements, you know causing a fluid, a fluidic type of gas out there in the heavens called Shemayim, that we call space or the satin sheet, satin curtain. Um, But he set beams out there. So you would think with somebody dealing with setting the foundation of a house, they would need ground for that. But the Lord doesn't. He got a throne out there, and a temple, Yahweh does. All right. He has a place for Yahweh Shai out there as well. And he set the beams on nothing. Just space and water. Whew, that's power, man. So Yahweh is in his holy temple. Yahweh's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, see? He can look from there or he can send a cloud <laughs> and talk to you from the cloud like he did when he spoke to Peter or he spoke to... um. To Peter and him in front of Yahweh Shai, he said, This is my beloved son, hear ye him. Like, I wonder how that cloud looked, you know? 
a, ch a chariot, or was it a cloud? All right, but I believe it was a chariot. It says his eyes behold, so he's watching, man. His eyes behold, and his eyelids try the children of men. You know, in this picture, you can see some eyelids. Whew, deep, man. You know, so. All right, so I don't believe that was the Most High Himself, but or, or Yahweh Shai Himself. I do believe that was a sign of what's to come. They're sending signs to this place. The ending shall be in effects and signs. All right, this was a sign of what's coming. Just like a storm. Before the storm shows up, you start to see what they call them, the cumulus clouds or so. And then the next thing you know, the storm shows up. So you're seeing these clouds, you're seeing the chariot. You say, look up, because your salvation is closer to when you first believe. And you're going to show signs in the heavens. And upon the earth, the stress of, of men, of nations. So he said, these are the signs to look for. Signs in the heavens and signs upon the earth. All right. So it says, Yahweh, Psalms 103 and 19. Yahweh have prepared his throne in the heavens. Man. So he's doing it. He's doing that now. Preparing his thrones in the throne in the heavens. And his kingdom ruleth over all. Blessed Yahweh, ye, ye his angels, that excelleth in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Man, it's amazing. Alright, because to see any chariots, to see his face in the cloud, whatever, it's all by the will of the Most High. You know, uh, how the angels can do nothing without the Most High's word. You know, for us to see that in, in November in these times, that's a sign to boost our faith. Daniel 7 and 9, because the Lord is what? Setting up his throne in the heavens for judgment right now. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. See, we in the time where the thrones are being cast down. You know, Esau is losing their power seat. And these other these heathen nations as well. So the thrones are being cast down upon the earth. And the ancient of days did sit. So he's he's out there, man. Setting up the judgment. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. And that's how his face looked. If you look at the hair, it looks like pure wool, you know. In contrast, it's like a, a woolly head, a, a woolly afro, white and woolly. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his his wheels as burning fire. So he got chariots up under him. All right, I got uh. Let's say, his throne was like the fiery flame, man, glowing. You know, and his wheels. As burning fire. What's that? Them chariots. Fire by night and cloud by day. Let me get this. All right. It says, under his feet are the wheels, right? The fiery flame. It says, Job 26 and 8. He bindeth up the waters in his thick clouds. All right. And the cloud is not rent under, under them. You see that? He he holdeth back the face of his throne and spreadeth his cloud upon it. Deep, man. So the Lord, the Lord uses the clouds. And he, he ride upon the wings of the wind. He uses them as his covering. You know, he bring them together and form a face. <laughs> and they won't break apart unless he commands it to. All right. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? I was talking about, that represents Yahweh all right? Because even Elijah and Enoch went up into the heavens, but they never came back down. They were born as children, as babies. But Yahweh went up into the heavens and, he, and he's about to return. According to the uh, book of Acts, chapter 1, it said the same Yahweh that we saw leaving, he's going to return the same way. It says, Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? What's the winds? The air that we breathe, the, the, the winds out there in the heavens, and the, and the clouds. So the Lord can gather them in his fist. Who have bound the waters in a garment? 
who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? All right? So that's what we're dealing with, man. That's how powerful he is. He control all the elements. He can do whatever he want with them. All right, Daniel 7 and 9 again. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. So the Lord is about to cast these thrones down. All right. And the Ancient of Days did sit, right? This is Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. So he's watching. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. All right, so the Lord is intensely watching, man. Watching everything. He's he going to make sure he take care of his elect. So, Daniel 7 and 9, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. So the scriptures say what? All right, I'm going to end it with this, because this is what times we in, man. The Lord is going to appear to the astonishment of the whole world, all right, with signs and effects. Revelations 20 and 11. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. <laughs> and there was found no place for them, man. So the Lord is setting up his great white throne judgment. And he's watching. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before Yahweh. And the books were open. And it's talking about um, spiritually dead. Right? And another book was open, which is the book of life. And this is for the elect. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. All right? So the wicked are going to get judged according to their works. All right? Um, and that would say... And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works, man. And the death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. It's talking about America. So the Lord going to deliver, deliver the um, the elect from this place, man, from all over the world and from death and hell, which would be represent Babylon at this moment. All right, and uh, Esau. <laughs> so, um, okay, this is hell for for the uh, for Israel. All right, so now this is the time we're in, where the Lord is setting up His great white throne judgment, and you're gonna see signs like this. You're gonna see uh, faces in the clouds. You're gonna see uh, chariots. And rainbows in the heavens, you know, little circle rainbows, um, you know, matter of fact, all right, Luke 21 and um, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and men's heart failing them for fear and for and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the power of heaven shall be shaken. All right. So the Lord is going to what? He's going to judge the, uh, just to still be on that point, the, the spiritually dead that are upon the earth. You know, and he's going to judge the elect that are in the heavens and that are upon the earth. All right. And, uh, what men's heart gonna be failing them for fear, man? You know, imagine you looking up at that cloud and they you know that you don't move. <laughs> Start looking to turn and look at you. <laughs> that you know, that lady would have been the, the article would have read woman in the hospital after heart attack from looking up at a giant face in the cloud and it turned and looked at her. <laughs> All right, twenty seven. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. So Yahweh Shah going to be in the chariot. Spoken of in 2nd Ezra 13. With power and great glory, man. 
and he's in you know and when they and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads man for your redemption draweth nigh there's nothing no earth at that point for us anymore everything will be from the heavens and we're gonna come back and take the earth you know so even if we're in pain or suffering whatever upon the earth in that day the lord said nah look up because the chariots are coming the calvary is coming all right so hey man i just want to, um hope there's inspiration for any um akim and akwatim out there uh yeah yahweh is about to return he's sending yahweh shah you know and these are some of the signs to look for so with that i'm gonna say uh, shalom